Well, thank you very much for the opportunity to be here today. And uh, first, I want to uh, talk to you a little bit about our company and, and who we are and what we do. And uh, APC is part of the Lardson Group company, one of the Lardson Group companies. And we are a private ownership. Uh, the Lardson Group was started uh, around the 1975. Uh, our global corporate headquarters is Ankeny, I Iowa. That's part of Des Moines metro area. Uh, we have over 60 uh, production facilities uh, worldwide and employ over uh, 2,400 people. Uh, and our, as LGI, our core focus is value adding protein technology. And so we, we focus on, we're a very science-based company that focuses on uh, extraction or fractionation of proteins uh, from biological fluids. Uh, we have a large-scale uh, production and separation technologies that we've developed over the years. Uh, and we uh, provide economical bulk production of value-added proteins and lipids. Now, uh, before I talk about APC, I want to mention some of our sister companies in the Lauritsen Group. Uh, Essentia is a functional uh, protein uh, solution uh, company that makes stocks and broths and flavors and fats for human uh, health and nutrition. They make uh, uh, products for soup stocks and things like that. Uh, BHJ we acquired back uh, in Denmark from uh, in uh, I think 2008 or nine, uh, and have turned that private. And that's uh, a company that primarily focuses on uh, collecting meat byproducts or co-products uh, uh, that go back into to use into pet food, uh, feed, and pharmaceutical industries. Uh, ProLiant Dairy, uh, uh, we started that back up uh, and have a couple plants where we make a whey permeate uh, for bakery, beverage, food, and, and or feed use. Uh, Boyer Valley's uh, one of our more traditional poultry rendering companies. And uh, ProLiant uh, Health and Biologicals uh, makes pharmaceutical grade uh, bovine serum albumin uh, with uh, also uh, the co-products of that or immunoglobulin concentrates. And that is used in both uh, and primarily in, in uh, human health supplements. Uh, and of course, uh, bovine serum albumin goes into a lot of uh, uh, cell culture media growth uh, medium and that kind of stuff. So uh, APC though, our focus is, is uh, we collect uh, and process animal blood um, and from slaughter facilities. And our, uh, we were established back in 1981 uh, and our global uh, 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 headquarters, again, in Iowa there in the U.S. Uh, and we're the largest manufacturer of spray-dried plasma, plasma functional proteins for use in both pet uh, and animal livestock feeds, including aquaculture feeds. Uh, so we have a global reach for marketing and selling into production livestock and also agronomy business industries. We also produce some plant biostimulants and fertilizer products, uh, you know, from animal blood products. Uh, we have uh, 17 manufacturing facilities uh, around the globe, uh, primarily focused in, in the Americas and some in Europe. Uh, we do have a, a sales office in Tokyo. Uh, and uh, we have... Uh, uh, eight countries with manufacturing facilities, and we serve 58 different countries through sales and distribution and uh, those kind of partnerships. And we, are, again, are a very uh, science oriented company. I've uh, been heavily involved with the company for 22-something years with uh, R&D, technical support. Uh, and uh, we are uh, kind of unique in that we publish peer-reviewed research uh, compared to a lot of companies, and we work with universities and uh, other groups to to publish research. Uh, 
And we have applications in swine, poultry, uh, again, pet food, ruminants, uh, aqua, and plant health. And so for aquaculture, our products we primarily focused on uh, is the plasma products for use in the krill challenge. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about plasma here in a moment. Uh, but we also produce uh, uh, red blood cells, spray dried blood cells, or uh, a lot of people will call it hemoglobin protein. Uh, and that's probably most understood in the aqua industry. Uh, we, we do sell quite a few uh, spray dried red blood, blood cells in, in the industry. And we also have more recently developed some hydrolyzed uh, uh, blood based protein products uh, that uh, we have not a lot of uh, experience with in the aqua side, but we are utilizing those as uh, biostimulants and uh, uh, various other applications. So plasma uh, it was selected as the functional ingredient for krill replacement challenge. And uh, the focus is it's a very rich source of highly digestible and functional proteins that help aqua species uh, survive and thrive through periods of stress under farm conditions. And by stress, I mean not only pathogen stress, but also even some of the stressors that we subject our, our fish or animal species to. Uh, and we've also been uh, heavily involved with the uh, pet food industry uh, more recently, looking at extrusion of plasma proteins and uh, extruded pet foods, and we still seem to be maintaining the biological functions that they undergo uh, during the feed technology process. Plus, uh, plasma has also been used in wet pet foods for many years as an excellent binder uh, and helps improve uh, water quality or water holding capacity, et cetera, in uh, various uh, 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 wet pet food or, or even uh, food products. Uh, and how plasma works, uh, much of my career I've focused specifically on how mode of action of plasma proteins work in animals, particularly mammals. Uh, uh, but uh, it is a complex mixture of functional proteins. These include immunoglobulins, transferrin, bioactive peptides, cytokines, uh, and things that people, are, most of you are probably familiar with. Uh, and it really helps the immune system respond quickly to a challenge and get back to a normal state much quicker. And in fact, we've been able to measure this not only at the gut level, but also in the uh, respiratory system as well as in, in the uterine system in uh, adult uh, uh, animals. And so it presents a very positive uh, uh, beneficial effect and I think can also be considered as an alternative to medications in a lot of cases. And so this is kind of a brief summary of uh, some of the research we've published in aquaculture species. Primarily we've done work in salmon, trout, sea brim, tilapia, and shrimp. Uh, and I could spend hours going through all this data, but basically we pretty consistently see improved survival of these species in these studies. Uh, we see improved health and immune indicators. Uh, for example, in shrimp, we see enhanced uh, phagocytosis and that kind of stuff going on. Uh, and we also see improvement in protein efficiency ratio, feed efficiency, as well as uniformity of body weight uh, through various challenge periods. And so again, uh, we uh, focused on sustainability. We're kind of one of the original companies that started recycling underutilized proteins. Uh, blood, many years ago, was thrown into ditches and was a pollutant. And that's kind of where our, uh, com our founding family uh, kind of got started was uh, looking at blood, animal blood as a waste product and turning it into value-added things. And it's been amazing uh, the story that uh, uh, our company founders have, have done and accomplished in 40, 50 years. So uh, we want to use every part of the animal to help them uh, reduce waste, 
help animals strive, and we strive continually to reduce energy use, uh, invest in technologies that lower our carbon footprint, and our also water reclamation processes uh, uh, in our plants. And so again, uh, we're a byproduct. Uh, it goes into a lot of animal feeds globally. Uh, uh, we produce, uh, uh, we've been installed in solar panels and things like that to, to uh, improve our uh, energy usage, uh, water usage, and uh, we also and really help animals thrive. So we're probably providing these plasma proteins to over eight, eight to a million animals daily uh, across the globe uh, from our meager estimates. So again, it's uh, plasma proteins, are highly digestible proteins, rich in functional amino uh, proteins, and it effectively helps support health of farm animals and agriculture. And we do have a global sustainable supply. So with that, I'm going to quit. <laughs>